This question is asked in gate 22 of instrumentation. This is from measurement subjects and related to the bridge topic. The given question is in which of the following bridge or bridges is the balancing condition is frequency independent. Okay, so this is based, uh, you know, like I can say it's a memory based questions in the theory you must have learned this like while learning various bridges. So always one discussion that we used to make is whether the balance condition is depending on the operating frequency or it is independent of the operating frequencies. So if you remember, haze bridge is one where the frequency comes into pictures. The balance condition is uh, dependent on the frequency. Similarly, uh, wind bridge is one of the bridge which is used for measurement of frequency and the unknown capacitance. So in that case also, the balance condition depends on the frequency. So of course, wind bridge, okay. So in this case, the balance condition is dependent on frequency, but we need independent, right? So wind bridge is anyway, this is eliminated. So Maxwell breeze, shearing breeze and Winston breeze, if you see the balance conditions. So nowhere you'll find the frequency term F. So while finding the corresponding balance conditions. Okay, so this is a memory based questions. So the answer is ACD. This is basically MSQ questions, multiple select questions. The options are ACD are correct. This question is asked in gate 22 of instrumentation. This is from measurement subjects and from the breeze concept. The question is the breeze zone is balanced when R1 is 100, R2 is 210, C2 is 2.9 microfarad and R4 is 50 ohm. The 2 kilohertz sine wave generator supplies a voltage of 10 volt peak to peak. The value of L3 in millihenry is this. So one important fact is the breeze is in balanced condition. So when the breeze is in balanced condition, so the product of this impedance and this impedance should be equal to the product of this impedance and this impedance. So uh, that is possible if the bridge is balanced and that's what is given in the question. So that means if I write the corresponding equation, so R1 into R4 should be equals to R3 plus J omega L3, I mean the impedance of this segments multiplied by the impedance of this. When a R and C are in parallel, we can say uh, this impedance is R by 1 plus J omega RC, J omega here it is R2 C2. By doing the cross multiplication, so this happens to be R1 R4 plus J omega R1 R2 R4 C2 is equals to is equals to R2 R3 plus J omega R2 L3. Okay. So now if we what is our requirement? Our requirement is L3. So L term is there in the imaginary part. So let us equate this and this term. If I equate this, so J omega, J omega is gone and R2 and R2 also gone. Then we are left with L3 and L3 happens to be R1, R4 into C2. These all value are given directly. R1 is 100, R4 is 50 and C2 is 2.9 into 10 power minus 6. Take a calcium and simplify this and if you do this, so this is coming 14.50 millihenry. So this answer is 14.5 and it's a standard Maxwell's breeze actually. If some of you uh, remember the standard, uh, you know, uh, the equation, so using that also you can get, otherwise the balance condition is also very straightforward. It takes hardly 20 to 30 seconds to answer these questions. So 14.50 is the right answer for this question. This question is asked in gate 22 of instrumentation. This is from measurement subjects and from breeze related concept. The question is in the Houston breeze circuit zone, R1 is 1.5 kilo ohm, R2 equals to R3 equals to R4 equal to 1 kilo ohm. The switch is initially open and voltage between the point C and D is VCD. Upon closing the switch at T equal to 0, the resistance in arm AD changes by amount del R1. And the voltage between C and D changes by del VCD. The sensitivity of the bridge in volts per kilo ohm is defined as magnitude of del VCD by del R1 is dash. So basically, if you see the question, you know, there are two situations. One case, this switch is open. Other case, the switch is closed. Okay. And the corresponding change in the voltage del VCD and the corresponding change in the resistance of this uh, AD segments is what our uh, you know interest so that we can take the ratio so i am taking two cases so case one is uh, switch open okay switch is open if the switch is open how does the circuit will look like so 
that means in this case so there is no point to think about this segment okay it is gone so <clears throat> let me write the corresponding values r2 r3 r4 r1 r1 1 so this is 1 kilo ohm this is 1 kilo ohm this is 1 kilo ohm and what is the value of r1 r1 is 1.5 so in this case when the switch is open so if i ask you what is r1 so r1 is simply it is 1.5 only okay and what is vcd vcd is basically vc minus vd so okay so this is what is the voltage vc and this is what is the voltage vd so what is vc by voltage division rule if i ask you what is vc this happens to be 1 by 1 plus 1 into 10 and what is vd vd is 1 by 1.5 plus 1 into 10 so this happens to be 10 by 2 minus 10 by 2.5 that is basically 5 minus 4 that happens to be 1 volts okay so vcd is 1 volts so this is the first case now coming to the second case case 2 the switch is closed if the switch is closed now what is the scenario let us see that means if the switch is closed uh, so this switch is closed now okay if the switch is closed then what is this total resistance that means r1 will come in parallel with 30 and the value of r1 is 1.5 and these all are 1 1 1 so 1.5 parallel with 30 if you do 30 into 1.5 by 30 plus 1.5 this happens to be 1.4285 okay the parallel combination of r1 and 30 so i can say here r1 dash okay i mean this is basically uh, what r1 dash is the resistance in the ad arm r1 dash that is basically 30 parallel with 1.5 we are getting this is 1.4285 kilo ohms so correspondingly now we will be finding what is vcd dash i mean the corresponding voltage when the switch is closed so that is of course vc dash minus vd dash so vc dash there won't be any change okay this voltage is vc dash and this voltage is vd dash so vc dash is again it is uh, 1 by 1 plus 1 into 10 minus vd dash is 1 by uh, 1 plus 1 1.4285 into 10 if you compute this uh, okay you take a calci and find it out so if you do this so this is happening to be 0 0.882 0 0.882 so we got uh, this is what is the situation so in the switch is open r1 is 1.5 and when the switch is uh, open the vct value is 1 volts when the switch is closed the corresponding value of resistance is 1.425 and the corresponding value of the voltage is 0 0.882 so what is we are supposed to find sensitivity which is magnitude of del vcd divided by del r1 so this is basically magnitude of vc del vcd means change in vcd so earlier voltage is vcd the new voltage is vc dash similarly the earlier resistance is r1 the new resistance is r1 dash so vcd was 1 earlier which is this is 0 0.882 similarly r1 was 1.5 originally and this is 1.4285 okay so take a calci and simplify this if you do this so this is happening 1.65 volt per kilo ohms okay 1.65 so the answer is 1.65 for this so very straightforward question so questions might look a bit complicated but it's not once the switch is open you need to find the resistance and the voltage once the switch is closed again you need to find the resistance and the voltage then you have to take the ratio of the change in voltage and resistance so very straightforward and the standard bridge also you know not a difficult task so the answer is 1.65 this question is asked in gate 22 of instrumentation this is from measurement subjects and based on three phase power measurements the question is in the balance three phase circuit zone c0 is 8.2 microfarad and the line to line rms voltage is 440 volts at 50 hertz the reading of watt meter in watts is dash okay so this is the watt meter okay so what is the uh, reading of the watt meters if i say the reading of the watt meter is w so if you see the uh, what the potential coil is connected between r and y i mean this uh, watt meter is between r and y 
so it will sense the voltage of vry and the corresponding current coil okay i mean this is the current coil you know like so this will sense the current of ir into cos of angle between theta vry minus theta ir right because any watt meters it is calibrated to read this is the uh, you know average power that is the uh, voltage of the potential coil between what and what it is connected so only r and y lines are involved b line is not at all involved so the voltage will be vry and the current will be ir right because this is what is the current coil this is the voltage coil so <clears throat> basically so the only thing that somebody should know is to get this angle what is this angle okay and what is vry vry is nothing but the line to line voltage which is given here 440 the line to line rms voltage 440 and by the way all voltage currents are in rms form you know that so vry is basically 440 and what is ir ir is this is the line currents and it, it's a star connected load isn't it and in the star connected load your il is equals to i phase yes or no and what is the phase current then the phase current will be basically the corresponding line voltage by the corresponding impedance so if i ask you what is it i phase so i phase will be basically this is is equals to v phase divided by z c naught isn't it because in a star connected load the il is equals to i phase and what is i phase i phase is basically the phase voltage by the corresponding impedance Phase voltage means the voltage of a particular phase. You may say this voltage or you may say this voltage or you may say this voltage. So, V phase by ZC naught. So, but V phase, how do you get V phase? If the line voltage is known, getting the phase voltage is not a challenging task because in case of star connected load, so VL is given by root 3 V phase. So, what is your V phase? V phase is basically VL by root 3. Okay. So, here you can say this is basically V phase by ZC naught. So, this is 440 divided by root 3. 440 divided by root 3 because this is the V phase. This is by ZC naught. So, ZC naught is 1 by J omega C naught. J omega is how much? 2 pi into 50 because frequency is 50 and C naught value is given 8.2 microfarad. So, this is 8.2 into 10 power minus 6. Okay, so this is what is your uh, uh, this thing I phase and if you simplify this by taking a calci and by the way, you know very well. So whenever we are dealing with the reading of the watt meters and all they are by default RMS and that to be the magnitudes only. I mean phase is not of interest to us. So you can take its magnitudes. So if you take its magnitude, this J will not have any relevance. Take a calci and solve this. So this happens to be 0.6544. Four forty into zero point six five four four. This is what you are. Then you need this cosine of angle between V R Y and I R. Okay. So for that, let us have the corresponding phasor diagram. So if I am uh, drawing the phasor diagram, let me take the three phases. This is your V R. By default, we are taking the positive sequence or R O B sequence. V R vy and this is your vb so we need to have vry so if this is vy then this is your minus of vy then if you know vr and you know v of minus y then what is vry by the way vry is basically vr plus of minus of vy basically you have to add this phasor and this phasor and this will be given by the diagonal of this parallelogram Okay, so this is the angle VRY. This angle is theta of VRY, this overall angle. Then what else we need? We need what? Uh, we need IR also, right? Because theta VRY and theta IR. So this is the angle we need. So which angle is theta IR? So basically, if you see, <coughs> This is the capacitive case and capacitive capacitor is a leading element. It means the current leads the voltage. But here, because this is purely capacitor, 
so the amount of lead is basically 90 degree okay so if i say the corresponding phase voltage is uh, you know vr so it will uh, the current ir will lead the vr by how much 90 degree so if this is what is my vr so where this ir will come so ir will come here this current is your ir so that the current ir is leading the voltage vr by 90 degree okay so what is this angle that what is this angle so so the, which which angle you need we need this angle so let me change the color you need basically this angle. the angle between vry and ir so you need this angle this is the angle is interest to us so how do you find this how do you find in the sense because this overall angle is 90 and this angle is basically 30 so 90 minus 30 so that will be 60 degree because this overall angle is 90 degree okay so you need this entire angle except this angle so what is angle so this angle is basically 30 degree because the angle between this uh, vb and vr is 120 degree but the angle between minus vy and vr i mean the angle between this line and this line is basically 60 degree and when this parallelogram is passing through this so this 60 degrees again divided into two parts this is 30 degree and this is also 30 degree so you have to subtract this 30 degree so this is 90 minus 30 that becomes 60 degree okay so here in this equation so you can substitute here this is cos of 60 degree so cos 60 degree so 440 into 0 0.6544 and your cos 60 is basically half so take a calci and solve it you get this is 143.96 watt okay so the reading of the watt meter it will be 143.96 so such kind of question unless until you don't have good idea on the phasor diagrams okay and uh, the watt meter uh, at least the equation of the watt meters you may not be able to answer this okay so first thing is we have written this equation and then we obtained the uh, what vry was directly given and the ir we obtained in a star connected case il equals to i phase i phase is phase voltage by the impedance phase voltage line voltage by root 3 so you obtained this ir then by drawing the corresponding phase diagram we obtained what is this angle the angle between theta vry and ir so vry we have shown this is your vry and this is your ir so this angle you have seen this is 90 minus 30 is 60 degrees so by substituting cos 60 and by simplifying to calci we are getting this is 143.96 so 143.96 the right answer for this